Got a little speed this morning in Green Pastures Farm. Boy, these cows are ready. Took a little longer to get our paddock in this morning, so we're about an hour late. And the cows are ready to be moved about an hour ago. <laughs> As you can tell. They're, uh... <laughs> Again... What's the sign of happy cows? Running and bucking and tails up in the air. And they're ready to go to that fresh pasture. And boy, do we have the fresh pasture. We just uh, set up a paddock up on this 20 acres. There's uh, We're actually just giving them 10 acres this morning, 10 acres tonight. Because we are winter stock pile mode now. We don't want to overgraze it. We're just taking the tips off and moving them. And... Uh, it's unbelievable what was up there. The uh, the Korean Lespedeza, which uh, when you get some rain, you really get a good stand of it. And man, did we get a stand of Korean Lespedeza. It's probably 12, 14 inches high up there. And it, it looks like it's trying to suffocate out the fescue. It's just unbelievably thick. And in between it is, of course, uh, lots of clovers. The, uh, the Korean Lespedeza is a uh, warm season legume. And uh, it likes having lots of moisture, okay? And uh, so when you get a year like this where we've had pretty good moisture, the, the Korean Lespedeza uh, just absolutely expresses itself. And uh, this is it right here. Um, it's been in the soil bank here in our area for probably the last couple hundred years that I know of. Um, I've heard the old timers talk about it. They used to fatten lambs on this in the fall and uh, they'd bring them into market fat on Korean Lespedeza. It is non bloating. Um, you can buy the seed if you don't have any in your, on your farm. And uh, they call it the poor man's alfalfa. It grows on really poor soil, or it can. It'll do pretty well on good soil too, but if you have a poor ground, and you're having trouble with getting legumes established, Korean Lespedeza is your best chance. Okay? It comes on in June, and it's done by the end of September. So don't plan on it being a forage that's going to take you through the winter or anything like that. It's not going to do that. But it, it likes hot weather. And when it gets hot, uh, that's when it kicks. So that cow can reach down and get a little bit of clover and Korean Lespedeza all at the same time, along with some of this other grass. So it's, it's a pretty good diet for an animal. Uh, you know, we don't want to eat the same thing every day, and cows don't either. So the more diversity we have in our pastures, the better, the better animal performance you can expect. This is uh, Greg Judy signing off. Everyone have a good day. Mm -hmm.